The weather's awful, lockdown's in full swing, and even the Zoom quiz invitations have thankfully dried up this time around, leaving many of us with a lot of viewing time on our hands. Luckily, the start of the new year means the arrival of plenty of new shows, and the return of some old favourites too. I'm Katie Rosinski, and this is What to Watch, your guide to the very best new TV shows and films streaming right now. First up is It's a Sin, the hugely anticipated new drama from Russell T Davies. Homosexuals, patients, and hemophiliacs. Like, there's a disease which has targeted the letter H. Who's it gonna get next? People from Hartlepool and Hampshire and Hull. Don't you see what all of these things have got in common? Set in 80s London and starring years and years frontman Ollie Alexander as aspiring actor Richie, it follows the story of a group of young gay men as they pursue their dreams in the capital, with their friendships tested and lives shaped by the shadow of the AIDS crisis. It's the first British TV series to reckon with the HIV and AIDS epidemic, and it's a deeply personal show for writer Davies, one that's by turns riotously funny, shocking, and completely devastating. It's this year's first must-watch series, and unless you have a heart of stone, it'll probably make you ugly cry too. There's also good news for fans of Mitchell and Webb, No, they're sadly not doing a peep show lockdown special, but the second series of their other squirm-inducing black comedy, Back, is surely the second best thing. I think you're ready to go home. Wow. I've changed, truly. I don't trust a word you say. Look, that's a lie. The red flag has gone up. And what is red the international symbol for? Plain crisps. The new season promises yet more watch-through-your-fingers awkward moments as Straight Lay Stephen, played by David Mitchell, continues to try and dig up dirt on his mysterious foster brother, Andrew, who almost definitely seems too good to be true. True crime podcasts, dramas and documentaries are everywhere right now, but the investigation, which begins on BBC Two on Friday evening, is very different from the grisly shows you might have seen before. 2017, the Swedish journalist Kim Val went missing. Based on the true story... It turns all the true crime stereotypes upside down as it charts the investigation into the 2017 murder of Swedish journalist Kim Paul. Rather than giving airtime to the killer, who's never mentioned by name or even pictured on screen, it focuses on the dogged work of the police officers who help solve the case. If you've been put off this genre before, give the investigation a try. It's Scandi Noir as you've never seen it before. Over on Netflix, this week's biggest release is The White Tiger, the film adaptation of the Booker Prize winning novel. I want to be a driver for your son. Hey, how much rope? Hey, don't do that. The Evening Standards film critic Charlotte O'Sullivan described it as as angry, smart and dark as last year's Oscar favourite, Parasite. The White Tiger. That's what I call myself these days. If you're in need of a bit of light relief though, may we recommend that you sashay your way over to BBC iPlayer where the second series of RuPaul's Drag Race UK is now in full swing, promising more silliness, more shade, and more jaw-dropping catwalk transformations. Hi, this is Stephen Mandela here from RuPaul's Drag Race season two. I am rude, rowdy, and disrespectful, but you know what? You're here for it. Hi, I'm Tia Coffey, and I'm the glamorous geek and the queen of class. In the latest episode, the queens have to channel their inner musical theatre superstars to perform in a scene from Rats, the Rusical. Surely it can't be more of a car crash than the actual Cats movie? We'll have to wait and see. And you can find out what happened when we met London Queen's Tia Coffee, Bimini Bomboulash and Astina Mandela on the Evening Standards YouTube channel. Happy watching! <laughs>